Prime Minister Stephen Harper still won a majority, and we know he's going to govern with a heavy hand. But in adversity, there's also opportunity. The NDP, with its greatly strengthened base, certainly can articulate an alternative vision for Canada, one that articulates the needs of the majority. That's the 60 percent of Canadians who did not vote for a Conservative government in this country. This election campaign was unique because the Canadian Labour Congress and our affiliated unions made the issues of working people matter to all parties. When, during an election campaign, did every political party have a plan to address the Canada Pension Plan to help workers retire with dignity and not in poverty? When, during an election campaign, did politicians have to talk about job creation and job protection? It's been a long time. Sisters and brothers, we changed that national agenda with our own agenda for change. Finally, we're getting all parties to stop ignoring the needs of working people, and that's progress all by itself. But we're also making a real difference in the lives of workers with our effective political action strategy at every level, whether it be federal, provincial, or municipal. We're forcing change through persistent lobbying of members of parliament and all governments for better legislation for the people we represent. We're successfully telling our story with this year's convention theme. We're strongly representing working people with good jobs. As a result, workers have better lives. Why? Because unions make a difference. Le programme des conservateurs ne zetterait pas sa brée dans les services publics pour financer encore plus de réductions d'impôts pour les entreprises, des réductions d'impôts qui ne créent que des profits imprévus, mais ne pas dans l'emploi. Nous ne pouvons tolérer que cela arrive. Les conservateurs contrôlent maintenant la Chambre des communes pendant quatre ans, mais ils ne peuvent pas contrôler le pays sans tenir compte du peuple. Et notre mouvement syndical canadien doit informer ses membres du danger qui représente cette majorité conservatrice pour leurs intérêts personnels. Nous devons nous mobiliser comme jamais auparavant. Et nous devons organiser nos membres afin de défendre les programmes sociaux, comme l'assurance maladie, qui profite à tout le monde dans notre merveilleux pays. You know, we've shown the Canada We've shown with our Canada Pension Plan that when we go on the offensive with Labour's issues, it's our opponents who are forced to react and can't control the debate. This convention where we also start a new mission, a mission to work harder and smarter than ever, presenting a realistic image of our Labour movement to the public through the media. Too often, unions are portrayed negatively and inaccurately and indeed unfairly. Put simply, we've been framed, framed by our opponents, by big business, in the media that they own, and by right-wing governments across this country. But through an improved public image, the issue of accessible social media like Twitter, Facebook, texting, and the internet, we're going to stand completely out of their frame for a change. Starting at this convention, sisters and brothers, we have to fight fiction with facts. Fight fiction with facts. Don't underestimate just how important that is. And thanks to the internet and that social media, you can't try the truth from people anymore. You just can't do it. Undemocratic regimes are crumbling all over the world. You're watching because the most powerful armies can't stop ordinary people from having a cell phone, from learning the truth. 
And you know, brothers and sisters, we have to get the truth out about us, about why organized workers should join a union. We have to demonstrate that the lifetime union advantage is not just an hourly wage rate of 7 to 14 percent higher than the non-union workforce. The real union advantage should and can be quantified. Do you know it's from $100,000 to more than a million dollars in the total value of better wages and benefits and pensions over a lifetime? And that union advantage does the most to stop our organizing. Bad employers and their right-wing government partners. We didn't know in 2005 that the world economy was soon going to collapse, but we always knew that workers needed bankruptcy protection to put them first in line ahead of banks and other creditors for their wages and severance. And you know, we convinced Parliament, that Parliament of ours, to pass the Wage Earner Protection Program with all party support in seven days at the end of the Paul Martin regime to pass that act. Workers in bankrupt companies, they used to get 15 cents on the dollar two years after the company they worked for went bankrupt. Two years after. They needed it that day. Now, they get wage, vacation, and severance pay under the Wage Earner Protection Fund almost immediately, ahead of the banks. I'm pleased to tell you last year that fund paid out a huge $50 million to workers who lost their jobs when the company they worked for went bankrupt. And, just as important, no judge or bankruptcy court can ever again unilaterally alter or change our collective agreement to hurt the workers like they did before. Never again.